Hi, my name is Kate Cuthbert, and I'm Managing Editor of Escape Publishing, and this is July's The Editor's Take. Maxine Sullivan will be very familiar to Harlequin Mills and Boone Desire readers, and we're very excited that she joins the Escape family this month with her contemporary romance, Night Talk. Night Talk is a fast-moving, fast-paced, fast-talking story about an Aussie who accidentally ends up on an evening radio show. Zach might not have meant to end up there, but the second that he sees his co-host, Cassie, there is no place that he would rather be. Escape welcomes our first male author this month with Peter Makara's Love or Money, a very sweet story about sustainability and finding out what really matters. Erin loves her grandmother's clifftop property, but she can't keep it. Her mother's medical bills are too high, and she needs the money that the property will generate to pay for them. Hamish is very invested in keeping the property within the community and away from the developers. It becomes a question of whether love or money will win the day. We've already gone forward in time with Juliet Madison's Fast Forward. Now it's time to take a step into the past with Sarah Bell's Hindsight. Juliet has it all. She's a career woman on the fast track to success. She has weekly pedicures and manicures, designer purses, and an IV caffeine drip. However, her family life is disintegrating before her eyes. One evening, after one too many glasses of champagne, Juliet trips over in her lounge room and wakes up in the 1960s. All of a sudden, all of her modern conveniences don't exist, and Juliet finds herself living the life of a 1960s housewife. However, things aren't always as bad as they may seem, and Juliet begins to see what is really important in life. In Gracie McGregor's Hearts on Hold, Kate Boyd has a lot of darkness in her past, so it makes sense that she would settle and hide away in a sunny Maltese village. However, it looks like her past is going to catch up with her when a sleepy professor shows up on her doorstep. Brandon claims to have no knowledge of things that have gone on, but can Kate really trust him? We just love Australian set historicals here at Escape, so I was very excited when Taya Cooper presented Matilda's Freedom to us. Matilda Sweet is not a normal girl. She wears her breeches and she rides astride and she goes swimming in creeks when it gets too hot. Unfortunately, Matilda has lost everything, so when Christopher shows up with an offer of a position as a companion to his sisters, it seems like a blessing from above. Christopher lives in a different society to Matilda, however, one that's not going to accept Matilda into its ranks. And Christopher has his duty as well. He has to marry for position and for money, and Matilda doesn't figure into that. After all, love is only for the lower classes. Regency England just got a bit hotter with Vivica Portman's The Secret Diaries of Lady Catherine Bexley. Told entirely through diary entries, this is an erotic novella about a young lady who enters into a society marriage with no understanding of what marriage or the marriage bed should be. However, after a few very perfunctory and proper encounters with her husband, Catherine begins to wonder if this is really all that there is. How is it possible to make her husband stop seeing her as a lady and start seeing her as a woman? I hope you enjoy reading July's titles. As always, we love to know what you think. You can connect with us via email on our website, on Facebook, or on Twitter at Escape Publisher. We'd love to hear from you.